Hello Gear Facts friends, I think we all remember Casio's infamous XWPD1 sampler. Made it to the top 10, not only that, made it to the top 1 of my great devices that were betrayed and ruined by their own bad design. This is its brother, the XWDJ1. Will it suffer the same fate? Generally the XWDJ1 is quite easy to understand. I wouldn't say everything's immediately intuitive, but it all works on cue points where you can set loops as it works in tandem with the DJ app on your phone. The little bracket that holds your phone goes in right here. And on this point I'll say people have asked, will this machine do anything on its own? The answer is no, it's an absolute brick by itself. It needs that app running. It comes with a little cable that goes into this round socket here, plugs into your phone, talks to the app, and it'll also charge your phone. If you're using it with a PC, of course we've got USB, lines out left and right, and a headphone socket. The unit does have a little built-in speaker. It's very tiny and makes a surprisingly adequate sound. You can switch that speaker off manually though and let the sound come out through your computer speakers or your PA system or whatever. It can also run on 6AA batteries. So in theory you can have a completely portable DJ setup. After using the XWDJ1 for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, I found that the best and most rewarding part of it was using the effects system. can control effects to some extent using the filter knob here, but I found the best way to operate effects was to call up the XY pad on the app itself.
So there are plenty of effects to choose from and they're very, very rhythmic in nature. And this brings me to my core point, I suppose, about what's good about the XW DJ-1. And that is you could attach a sampler to it and grab these rhythmic little breaks and put them into a larger composition. As a composition making tool on its own, it's very limited and even Casio would have to admit that the competition is extremely strong in the DJ controller market. But you can get some great samples off it and it's all about using that effects section, particularly the XY pad in the app. But that's a very niche set of capabilities in what is a very broad and saturated market. I should point out too that that DJ app costs about $60 a year to have on your phone and to me that seems extremely excessive on top of the price of the DJ One unit on its own. But anyway, that's my review. The Casio XW DJ1 is weird. Good on you Casio for giving it a go. And that's all I'm going to say. Thanks for watching Gear Facts everyone. See you next time.